What keeps roller coaster fans coming back for more? The thrills, of course. For roller coaster enthusiasts, the undeniable adrenaline rush of steep drops, twisting turns, and scream inducing inversions is absolutely delicious. Like sinking your teeth into a sizzling Red Robin Burn and Love burger, roller coasters give an explosion of sensations that are both intense and ultra addictive. As a roller coaster aficionado myself, I can totally relate to this insatiable appetite for thrills. So, for the sake of yet another roller coaster top 10 list, I conducted a few polls with my viewers to decide which ride truly packs the biggest punch. Today, we'll be running through a countdown of the most intense, holy Shrek on a pogo stick rides as voted on by the fans. Now let me be clear, this list is not the be all end all of roller coaster intensity rankings. Every coaster is different and every opinion is subjective, so feel free to drop a comment below and share what the most intense coaster you've ridden is. Also, this list only covers currently operating roller coasters, so Dodo Dompa and Top Thrill 2 are excluded. Anyway, let's get started. Number 10, El Toro at New Jersey's Six Flags Great Adventure. There are some truly insane creations made of lumber out there. In fact, one attraction took the experience to an entirely new level, El Toro. Intamin's marvel of engineering and design opened to the public in 2006. And since then, it has been delivering gut-busting drops, insane speed, and spring-loaded airtime that's still standing strong at the park. After exiting the station, you ascend a high-speed cable lift. After building some good momentum, you'll be met with perhaps the greatest first drop on any wooden coaster. To say this drop is a masterpiece of gravity is a true understatement. You just get yanked down it, and you'll get even more pull if you're in the back row. Immediately afterwards, you'll navigate a number of massive high-velocity airtime hills. To put it bluntly, this coaster means business, because not only do these hills give some truly bonkers airtime, but some of them weave into the structure, allowing for some truly heart-palpitating head-chopper effects. What truly sets El Toro apart is the sheer insanity of its airtime. This ride practically launches you out of your seat with each hill and drop. It's as if the coaster has a mind of its own, determined to give you an experience that blends spicy freefalls with truly savory airtime. Whether you're a seasoned coaster veteran or a first-timer, this bull is not one to be messed with. Number 9. Iron Guazi at Florida's Busch Gardens, Tampa Talk about turning trash into treasure. This ride got its start back in the 1990s as a twin wooden coaster named Guazi. Each track had its own layout with timed segments where the trains would interact with each other. While it was quite popular when it first opened, years of wear and tear turned it into more of an earthquake simulator than something that's supposed to be fun. Despite attempts to improve the coaster, both sides of Guazi had closed by 2015. The ride then sat standing but not operating for four years, but in 2019, a savior emerged in the form of Rocky Mountain Construction. Armed with their signature iBox track, the Idaho-based company soon got to work with one of the most impressive makeovers in roller coaster history. Soon afterwards, Iron Guazi swiftly rose from the ashes of the original, going from a flawed twin coaster to a world-class single coaster. First opening in 2022, this attraction made its debut to resounding applause from coaster enthusiasts worldwide. This new ride was taller, faster, and longer than the original, with a souped-up layout designed to take guests by storm. After ascending a 206-foot lift hill, you'll plummet down a 91-degree drop, rocketing to a max speed of 76 miles per hour. Throughout the layout, you'll come face-to-face -face with a great number of heart-pounding turns and flavorful airtime hills. Unlike the original, Iron Guazi features two stellar inversions, a dreamlike barrel roll down drop and an outstanding 0G stall. Add in a lengthy wave turn, a series of upward curved hills, and some well-seasoned airtime, and you've got a recipe for success. Iron Guazi is bar none a masterpiece of engineering, proving that any washed-up wooden roller coaster can come back to life with RMC's help. Number 8. Steel Vengeance at Ohio's Cedar Point Considered by many to be the greatest roller coaster of all time, this attraction actually got its start as perhaps the worst roller coaster at Cedar Point. Before RMC, this ride opened in 1991 as Mean Streak. This coaster was well known for its extreme roughness and discomfort, with many arguing that it lived up to its name in the worst way. By the mid-2010s, park fans were clamoring for RMC to give it the iBox treatment. Sure enough, after the ride's closure in 2016, RMC's vehicles were spotted on the property, 
The next year, the much-anticipated makeover was announced to the public. This new coaster named Steel Vengeance would break barriers as the longest, tallest, steepest, and fastest hybrid coaster at the time. After ascending the lift hill, riders plunged down a 200-foot drop, reaching a rock-bottom angle of 90 degrees while hitting 74 miles per hour. The layout is, to put it simply, a smorgasbord of forceful airtime moments. These moments total over 27 seconds long, giving Steel Vengeance more airtime than any other roller coaster on Earth. And this airtime ranges from strong floater to electrifying ejector airtime. And as if that weren't enough, RMC gifts passengers with four surreal inversions, a zero-g stall, and not one, not two, but three zero-g rolls. With all of its elements put together, this coaster truly has something for every thrill seeker, and it's hard not to come off of it with a big grin on your face. Overall, it's safe to say that Steel Vengeance has all the ingredients for a high-quality product you can't get enough of. Much like the sponsor of this video, Magic Spoon. Remember being a kid on a Saturday? Remember watching cartoons while eating a bowl of sweet, delicious cereal? I certainly do, and I still enjoy a nice bowl of cereal. However, I've been watching my sugar intake lately, so it can be difficult to find options that are both wholesome and delicious. Fortunately, Magic Spoon is exactly what I'm looking for. Now I can enjoy the tastes I remember with no artificial ingredients and zero sugar. This cereal uses a special blend of milk protein and other high quality ingredients to give you a nostalgic taste with several added benefits. Not only does it taste like your childhood favorites, but it's high in protein as well, with 13 to 14 grams per serving. Each serving also has only 4 to 5 grams of net carbs and 0 grams of sugar. Yes, 0 grams of sugar and no artificial sweeteners. Instead, Magic Spoon uses naturally occurring allulose to give you the classic taste you love. Each flavor of Magic Spoon is keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, and is perfect for a carb-conscious lifestyle. Magic Spoon has several different flavors available online, and if you want an especially awesome deal, I recommend the Variety Pack. This pack comes with four flavors, Frosted, Fruity, Peanut Butter, and Cocoa. My personal favorite of the bunch is Frosted. It tastes just like golden vanilla cake. Plus, you can mix and match these cereals any way you want, and I'll tell you, the peanut butter and cocoa flavors mixed together are absolutely scrumptious. If you want to try Magic Spoon out for yourself, head to the link in the description and use my promo code CRAZY for $5 off. Give your taste buds a blast to the past and grab yourself a bowl of Magic Spoon. Number 7. The Ride to Happiness at Belgium's Plopsalon de Pan after the success of Time Traveler at Missouri's Silver Dollar City, German manufacturer Mach Rides had a hit on their hands with their extreme spinning coaster. Through the use of a controlled spin, this ride model blends specially programmed rotations with insane elements and inversions. The one at Silver Dollar City was heavily acclaimed by enthusiasts, but Mach Rides went even bigger with their next installation. Towards the end of 2019, the Belgian theme park market was red hot with parks like Wallaby Belgium and Bobby Online announcing massive roller coaster projects. Meanwhile, Plopsalon de Pan was looking to keep up with their competition and wanted to build something major. So park officials got in contact with Mock Rides to build an extreme spinning coaster that outdid the prototype. Millions of euros later, the ride made its debut in 2021 to unanimous acclaim from thrill seekers. This coaster took the concept that Mock put on the market and made it even crazier. From the moment the ride starts, you get an idea of just how insane this coaster is. As you navigate a 360 degree roll straight out of the station, soon afterwards you'll approach the launch platform where the train stops to build anticipation. Then, with a burst of magnetic energy, the train is catapulted up a steep incline ascending to a top height of over 108 feet. After an outwards bank left hand turn, you'll plummet down a vertical drop over the pond. The rest of the layout is a psychotic episode of twists, turns, and brain-bending inversions. A banana roll, a vertical loop, a zero-g roll, and a step-up underflip all come together in one experience. All the while, the train's cars rotate individually, adding a disorienting intensity to the elements that you wouldn't get on standard trains. It swoops and dives under the Flemish skies, and by the time the ride is over, your heart will be racing. To put it bluntly, the ride to happiness is a pure symphony of sensations. Living up to its name is a journey that defines the essence of sheer joy. Number 6. Velocicoaster at Florida's Islands of Adventure 
Whether you love or hate the Jurassic World movies, you can't deny the sheer genius of this coaster. First opening in 2021, this attraction combines S-tier roller coaster thrills with the S-tier theming the Universal Orlando Resort is known for. Just when you thought Islands of Adventure couldn't get any better, Velocicoaster took the park to a whole new level of awesomeness. This ride didn't just meet the public's expectations, it surpassed them. The experience involves being launched into a raptor enclosure with every twist and turn enveloped in lush greenery, raptor figures, and intricately detailed rock formations. The attention to detail, especially in the rock work, adds an immersive layer that's hard to put into words. These rocks aren't just the scenery either, they're part of the experience. One particular intense moment involves a jagged rock structure that appears to be pointed right at your face as you rush towards it. If you're in the front row, you may find yourself ducking on instinct. The thrills don't stop here though, because Velocicoaster treats you to a series of ejector airtime moments that slap gravity in the face and throw deep personal insults at its family. And believe it or not, that's not all for this ride. As you shift into the second half, you ascend a massive top hat followed by a breathtaking descent that sweeps you over the park pathways. Afterwards, you'll navigate a zero-g stall, and soon enough, the sweet cream filling of the layout known as the Mosasaurus Roll. Imagine being flipped upside down, hanging suspended over water, feeling as if a Mosasaurus is about to lunge out of the water and swallow you whole. If you're a thrill seeker, you're likely to find yourself instantly falling in love with this ride, even if you feel like the Jurassic World sequels insulted your intelligence. Hell, this ride could be themed to grown-ups too and still be amazing. That's just how spectacular it is. Number 5. Sky Rush at Pennsylvania's Hershey Park This ride, like others on the list, is proof that you don't need inversions to have an insane roller coaster. This fast-paced hypercoaster boasts one of the most intense and memorable experiences out there. And it's my personal favorite coaster at Hershey Park. The journey begins with a fast cable lift that takes you over 200 feet into the air. Soon enough, you'll crest the peak, and once you do, the party starts. The first drop is nothing short of a bonanza, boasting an almost vertical angle of 85 degrees. You just get yanked down it, and you feel like your stomach is being lifted into your throat. But that's just the beginning. Sky Rush is all about the airtime, and it doesn't hold back. This coaster's layout is a low-to-the-ground masterpiece of lateral pack turns and pops of superb weightlessness. Ejector airtime takes center stage, propelling you out of your seat with forces that rival the best coasters on Earth. You could easily say that Skyrush has some of the best ejector airtime in the industry. The forces here are simply undeniable, giving you a full-scale buffet of positive, negative, and lateral g-forces. The brute force of the airtime might catch you off guard, but it's precisely this unrelenting nature that makes Skyrush a worthy spot on this list. The best way to describe this ride experience is like a bullet shooting through butter. And the intensity is so profound, it's practically impossible to resist marathoning it. Number 4. Tornado at Denmark's Bakken You may not have heard of this coaster if you live outside of Scandinavia, but this crown jewel of spinning intensity really deserves more attention. This coaster is often acclaimed by well-traveled coaster enthusiasts for its wild twists and turns. For many, it's unlike any other roller coaster they've ridden in terms of sheer, overwhelming intensity. Even those with an affinity for hardcore extreme thrill rides may find themselves lost for words after taking this ride on. On paper, this spinning coaster may not seem like much. After all, its top height is only 40 feet and its maximum speed is just 32 miles per hour. However, like fine Italian cuisine, the design of its layout makes the most of its simple ingredients. On this coaster, riders are seated in pairs facing each other. Shortly after leaving the station, passengers are treated to a hydraulic-powered double chain lift. This system feels more like a launch than a lift, and it's a perfect transition into the layout. Simply put, Tornado's course transcends the modest expectations of its riders. The coaster's compact, mostly indoor layout consists of snapping transitions and tight helixes. You really do feel like you're inside an actual tornado. But an ordinary ride on this coaster isn't why it made the list. No, the main reason this coaster is here is because of the high intensity boost mode. Sure, the regular version is indeed thrilling, however, boost mode takes the intensity so far into another level that it's a hair away from no clipping into the back rooms. This ride mode must be specially requested by the riders when the park isn't too busy, so it's kind of like a secret menu item. 
In boost mode, the operators increase the speed of the lift, disable the trim brakes, and even manually spin the vehicle at the start. The result is a balls-to-the-wall experience that feels more like a training device at NASA than an amusement ride. With a higher rate of spinning and a more forceful pace, boost mode is certainly not for the faint of stomach. The disorientation, the sensory overload, and the sheer intensity create a perfect experience for thrill-seekers looking to test their endurance. Tornado is, quite possibly, the most intense spinning coaster on Earth. Number 3. X2 at California's Six Flags Magic Mountain Designed by the legendary Alan Schilke, this coaster is sheer madness in the best way possible. This right here is the world's first fourth dimension roller coaster. What's a fourth dimension roller coaster? Well, it's all in the trains. Through the use of a rack and pinion gear system and a quadruple rail track, this coaster has seats that can rotate a full 360 degrees forwards and backwards. As the train coasts along the inside rails, the outside rails raise and lower to make the seats rotate. And this rotation takes this ride from insane to dangerously psychotic. Although it's not dangerous, don't worry about that, it's a definitely a safe ride. After exiting the station, you're lifted up to a top height of 175 feet. Then, after being forced to face the ground, you plummet down a nearly 90 degree drop at speeds of 76 miles per hour. So much for don't look down. As you traverse the course, your surroundings become a blur of forwards, backwards, and sideways movements. One moment you're facing forwards, the next you're on your back, and suddenly you're going in reverse. One element known as the half twist gives the illusion that your vehicle has left the track. For first time riders, the unpredictability of the seat rotation ensures that every second is a surprise. And even if you have ridden this before, you may come off completely speechless. The ride's elements alone are already bonkers, but the seat's rotations are carefully orchestrated to enhance the intensity. You'll certainly need to brace yourself for this onslaught of crazy moments, and X2 demands resilience from its passengers. Intensity really is the name of the game with X2, and as if one fourth dimension coaster wasn't enough for this list, number two is even more unbelievable. Number two, Ijinaika at Japan's Fuji Q Highland. Shortly after X2's manufacturer Aerodynamics went bankrupt, the company's assets were acquired by American manufacturer SNS Power, now known as SNS Sansei. SNS continued to sell the fourth dimension coaster, and soon enough, they built one across the Pacific. While X2 pushed the boundaries of what a roller coaster could do, Ijinaika added even more to the experience. First opening in 2006, Ijinaika was taller, longer, and faster than X2. Both coasters have similar layouts, but Ijinaika's longer course allows it to incorporate even more insane elements. Perhaps the most memorable section is a zero-g roll that comes directly after a raven turn. Of course, this ride also has rotating seats, but the rotation is said to be even smoother than on X2, as SNS improved the already awesome design of the trains. Moreover, the rotations are said to be even crazier than the ones on X2, further proving SNS's commitment to improve the original design. Basically, you can take everything I said earlier about X2 and beef up the stats, top it off with some new elements and better rotations, and you've got a mixed up, mashed up slice of mayhem fresh out of the oven. If you plan on riding this, don't expect the intensity to cool down as it goes on, because this ride's energy is pretty much non-stop. It's fitting that this park is right next to Mount Fuji, because this coaster is an eruption of intensity. And now, number one, Intimidator 305 at Virginia's King's Dominion. If you're in the mood for a pulse-pounding rush of speed and a relentless concoction of unwavering intensity, Intimidator 305 has your name written all over it. This coaster is a tribute to the late Dale Earnhardt, a NASCAR driver known as the Intimidator. Capturing the indomitable spirit and insatiable thirst for velocity that define Earnhardt's legacy, this coaster is a mecca for thrill-seekers in search of a badass ride like no other. Dominating the Virginia skyline at 305 feet, Intimidator 305 towers high above the park's other attractions. Soon after boarding, you'll hear the famous Gentlemen, start your and up you go towards the top. After reaching the peak, you're met with a jaw-dropping 85-degree drop. This plunge is a true gut-buster, but what follows is the real star of the show. Soon enough, riders hit a high-speed bank turn at full throttle. 
The G-forces unleashed here are so potent that they may push you into graying out or to the edge of blacking out, a testament to this coaster's insanity. In fact, when the ride first opened, this turn was considered to be too intense as riders blacking out was reportedly a common occurrence. Though the turn was later reprofiled to be less problematic, it still packs a ton of G-forces. Maintaining its velocity, you'll rocket through a series of nitro-charged elements. A colossal high-speed airtime hill launches you skyward, followed by a series of lightning-fast bank turns that whip you from side to side. And the laterals on these turns are really something to behold. Beyond the elements, the true essence of Intimidator 305 lies in its relentless speed. With a course engineered close to the ground, the coaster maintains its momentum throughout, ensuring a Sonic the Hedgehog-esque experience. Even a trim break towards the second half is hardly noticeable in this relentless torrent of intensity. This coaster is a harmonic explosion of forces that resonates with NASCAR fans and coaster lovers in general. Definitely give this one a ride if you plan on visiting King's Dominion. So what are some coasters you think are super intense? Any that missed the list? Feel free to leave a comment down below. In the description, you'll find links to my Instagram and Facebook accounts. On my Instagram, you can take a look at hundreds of photos and videos I've taken over the years at parks across the country. On Facebook, you can engage in interactive discussions to stay up to date on what's going on with the channel. If you're interested in either my Facebook or my Instagram, feel free to follow them in the description below. Your support will be immensely appreciated. Now it's time for the comment shoutout program. This is where I take five random comments from my previous video and read them out. These comments are from my failed coasters video on X2. Christian Ortiz says, At least Arrow went out with an intense coaster. Still the best coaster by Aerodynamics. Ott says, I just rode X2 today. It is an amazing ride. Charlie Farrow says, Thanks for the video. I have always wanted to ride this coaster, but I am also terrified of it because I have heard that it is really intense. I think I might also get dizzy on it because of the rotation on the seats, but to be honest, I think it would be worth it. Pup Stuff says, And this whole time I thought X2 was called X2 because it's X2 Ream, not the second of its kind. You're very welcome, Charlie. And RTRC says, I never got to ride the original X, but I appreciate the story of its existence and I adore its new form as X2. Still not a perfect coaster, but damn amazing one that makes me cherish my home park even more. If you want to see your words in my next video, leave a comment down below and it may be selected. Please note though that inflammatory or spam comments will not be read. Thank you all so much, and if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so once again at the link in the description. Thanks for watching everyone, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or you can check out my website at themeparkcrazy.com. And I'm on TikTok. This is Theme Park Crazy, and I'll see you all next time.